Ladies and gentlemen of the Pro Wrestling Archives, I would like to announce Jacob Fatu has finally made his long-awaited debut in WWE. And um, I just got to say one thing, though. Like, right now, they're making Sola Sokoa out to be the head of the table and um, to be the one that'll be facing Cody Rhodes for the belt. But now that Jacob Fatu is in the uh, the bloodline, Sola Sokoa's version, I could literally see Jacob Fatu easily overshining Sola Sokoa and getting in line for a title shot against Cody Rhodes because I, I know... Jacob fought too well. I've driven him to and from the airport and from the 2300 arena for MLW. And I seen that guy wrestle and I'm proud of him. Dude, he's a, he's a great, he's a great dude, a good worker. And uh, I just love, I just like to see uh, people like him uh, actually making it in the wrestling business. And, um, and just uh, with that said too, like with the reaction he got, like he didn't even get a heel reaction either. So like I could even see, at some way down the road, Sola Sokoa and um, Jacob Fatu having a match themselves together as well. Like, uh, because just react, just looking at, at the reaction he got and uh, Sola Sok and uh, Jacob Fatu does have a following already coming into uh, WWE. So like when he came out on, uh, on SmackDown, I know I, I noticed a lot of fans were, were cheering for him. Instead, and in, when he's supposed to be a heel, so like uh, I could see, but then again, he Jacob Fatu can be a good heel too. I've seen him be be heel in uh, MLW, but I'm just saying, like when he came out, like he got a more of a faces reaction because uh, of him, because of who he is, and then making his appearance there in uh, in WWE. So like I could easily see him at some point in time going against. Sola Sokoa, and, um, just that things are getting interesting, like, you got that, you got the, uh, the, the triangle between, uh, Dominic Mysterio, Liv Morgan, and, um, and Rhea Ripley, so, like, that, I could see that being something maybe to, to bring, uh, Dominic face, because you never know, like, I could see Dominic Mysterio leaving the Judgment Day, and just, uh, going off and trying his route as a singles uh, competitor with, uh, Liv Morgan uh, managing him, and uh, anyways, uh, that's one thing I like about wrestling these days, it's unpredictable, like, bringing the unpredictability back into it, and uh, just get the whole thing with uh, Cody Rhodes, and uh, Randy Orton, and Kevin Owens, them teaming up again, but I kind of feel like it would be best if they uh, end up uh, turning turning Cody Rhodes heel, and seeing how that goes, or maybe that, or like, uh, somehow pushing Cody Rhodes and Randy Orton into a feud uh, versus each other for the title because Randy Orton uh, is very well deserving of a title shot. So anyways, just want to throw some thoughts out there. I haven't uh, really did one of these in a while. So until next time, peace out.